He always wanted everybody to feel like a kid in a candy store. And this is Lori. And we are on a very excited out and about. Because as you well know, it's getting towards the holiday season. We're talking traditions. And even though Lori and I do not come from the same family, although you would think we were related by uh, our crazy, you would think, we have one of the same family traditions, which is taking a trip to Daffin's Candy Store. And that's where we're at today. And I'm super excited because we're going to talk with Connie, who is the manager. She's going to tell us a little history about Daffin's. And then, of course, we're going to browse around and look at the chocolate and all the yummies. Yay. And the smell. I wish I could send that out to all of you because the smell, if you've never been here, it's definitely a must must see and a must smell place because it smells amazing in here. And, and of course, then you must taste as yes. well. So. Oh, yes. Definitely. So, come on. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> Yay! So we are here with Connie, who is the manager of Daffin's. Thank you for having us here today. Welcome. This is absolutely fabulous. So how long have you been with Daffins? I've been with Daffins for 54 years. Uh, actually, since 1966. Um, the company was actually founded um, in 1949 in downtown Sharon. Um, but uh, we moved here in 1975 from downtown Sharon. And we've been here ever since. Um, a little story about this place was an abandoned grocery store, so Mr. Daphne purchased it, remodeled it, and turned it into, at the time, it was the world's largest retail candy store. Yeah, sure. Um, the original Daphne's was started in downtown Sharon in 1949, um, and the owner was Pete Daphne, his wife Jean and their daughter Diane ran the business. Um, from 1949 and then they bought this building in 1975 and moved it up here at that point and Mr. Daffin passed away 20 years ago and Mrs. Daffin and Diane passed away four years ago um, and after that uh, the company is now owned and run by their nephew Gary uh, so it's still family owned. He was a great visionary. He had, uh, it was his idea for the kingdom and just a brilliant mind. 